Hi folks, welcome back. Well, here we are. As you can see, it's a bit cold in the garage today. So, hat on. I've even got long trousers on. <laughs> anyway, start this radius arm and uh, stick a rag through it, just get rid of any the excess grease that's still lying about. We start putting it back together again. Just an old bit of rag, just pull it through. As you can see, it was clean. It's a bit cold in the garage today if I go to put the heating on. So it's on now heating up so give it 20 minutes or so and I'll be warm enough yeah, so just pulling an old rag through it just to take any of the old, the old grease that's still lying about inside the bore. Just clean up as much as we can. You'll never get it all out because obviously the, the radius arm's hollow, so there's a load of grease in there. As you can see, put a brake cleaner in the spray. Thanks to Sean Coyle and BMC Workshop his, uh, his recommendation on the spray gun uh, Well impressed it's, uh, I ordered two in fact So I, I got two One for my engine cleaner and one for brake cleaner And uh, yeah, really pleased with it So, anyway That's the kit those that have seen them, those that haven't, it's uh, the full radius arm pin when they need a roller bearing and the brass bush. All comes together in the one pack. Let's get it opened and see what we've got. Put the compressor on, pull the line over. Give me a little, a little blower for the paint booth. So I just blow things off when I'm in the paint booth. So it's really handy. Stick it on that line. So I'll just put you on fast forward here. I need to see me stripping down the needle bearing and whatnot and get my tools together. Oh, there we go. Plastic sleeve goes in first. Pop that in. As you can see, it's quite tight at the top end. So you just use the, the, the bearing to drift it in. We'll just start it off. That's that. A couple of little taps just to level it off and tap it in. Same with the, the brass push at the other end. A bit of grease in the... Just same again. Just tap it in.
And then following on from Sean's tip, which I believe originally was uh, Keith, classic mini workshop. Bit of threaded bar. Uh, the two washers from the old radius arm. And a couple of nuts. Pop it together. And tighten the nuts. To clamp the... The bearing in the bush. I'm going to use a windy gun because I'm feeling lazy. <laughs> my hands are all greasy. I'm trying to put this sock on. My hands are just sliding a bit on it. Here we go. So, we speedy up it. There you go, as you can see. Tighten the sock up. And it draws the bush down. The bottom one didn't seem to want to win. The brass bush didn't seem to want to win. So I thought I'd get a wee play manually, but again, still didn't really want to play. So what I've done is I took it over. I'm going to flip it over now and try again from the top with the windy gun, so that. Hopefully with the You can see it's not much, it's only like a mil and a half, two mil is sticking up. So I'll give it another do. And that's had the desired effect. So let's get this pilot assembly for the the reamer. Sort of a center, centers the the reamer, so that you can't go off at a weird a weird angle. So just adjust the reamer blades, so that they're just just scraping the the bearing for the first one. It's literally, it's hardly even touching it. And it seems to just caught at the end there. This is WD-40 multi-purpose cutting oil. It's a bit too, too pressurised for my liking. Because it sprays everywhere. But it was all they had when I went to get some that day. So, uh, I prefer to use the sort of a normal cutting oil with a 3 in 1 type anyway one minute one was and upwards so basically you give it a pass adjust the blades of the reamer tighten it back up and give it another clean Take any swarf off it. And there we go, ready for another pass. So I'm just going to put my hand round it and use my hand as a guard just to stop it spraying everywhere. Which seems to have worked. I'm not putting any pressure on it at all, just letting the reamer do its own thing. Just letting the weight of the actual reamer in the bar above drive it down. And there you go. Another pass through. Pull it back up. Before I clean it, I'll let you see. There's a swarf that it's taken off the 
the bearing or the sleeve it's not actually a bearing is it? it's a sleeve just each pass again check the pin see how tight it is another couple of passes are going to be required Took me a wee while to figure out how this reamer adjusts. But once I sussed it out, it's pretty straightforward. So, I say each pass, sort of like a flat of adjustment on the adjusting nut. And it just, it just tightens it up. You can feel it scraping and cutting the bush. There you go, just drop through. Now that we clean, clean the swarf off. And that's just starting to starting to actually fit into the bush now so same again slacken it off adjust it up a notch back through again another squirt with the cotton oil keep it lubricated And another. Just give the pin a try, see how it is. It's getting there, it's getting there. Yeah, it's just, just tight at the bottom the end of it. Give it another, another adjust up. Another spray. As you can see, last wee bits of swore coming off that. I think that's just about right. I don't want it too slack, so I'll just 
speed you up again, dismantle this little uh, pilot assembly, give it a blowout, clean up. Another clean, another blowout. Right, so cleaned up. Get some grease into the, the needles of the roller bearing. Make sure there's no swarf left lying about. Loop up my shaft. Plenty of lube on it. As you'll see. See, and no pressure required, but nice and tight. Some washers on for now. Just to hold it in place. Let's see a later day. I'll mask it up in there. Uh, that's the paint the radius arm. I was going to have them powder coated, but I've decided against it. I think I'll just uh, good old hammer right. Because uh, they do take a fair bit of pounding, a fair bit of battering, so I think I would rather be able to touch it up. Whereas you powder coat it, you can't really touch it up, can you? So. At least before it's sort of a winter service yearly, I can uh, I can give it a touch up with the hammer, right? Make sure it's all right for the winter salt. So as I say, it's just going to get a, a coat of smooth hammer. Right? It's going to get a clean off and a, a coat of smooth hammer right before it goes on the car. Not really too bothered about doing it just now because it's going to get moved about the garage quite a bit so I'll leave it until I'm actually ready to fit it. But yeah, quite pleased with that. It's uh, pins in. It's stiff but I can turn it by hand so quite pleased with that. So one done, one more to do. So it is what it is, but uh, quite pleased with the little reamin tool. Quite pleased with the the drifting tool for taking the old bearings out. So all in all, a good investment, I would say. So just put the dust caps on, dust covers on. As I say, give it all a clean off. And then I'll grease it up when it goes on the car. Did the grease come? Dust covers are fiddly, especially when your hands are covered in grease. <laughs> you, know, you know, the end of the arm's covered in grease. I think I should have maybe cleaned it up before I tried to put these on, but never mind. We're there anyway. A wee bit of swearing going on, I can assure you. And 
Let me go over on. Well, that's a successful wee mission in the garage this afternoon. Uh, as I said, the next one shouldn't take me that long, now that I know how to use everything and whatever. It's uh, been a bit of a faff, been a bit of a fiddle. But, a bit of research, speak to the right people. Thanks to Sean Coyle again, as I said earlier on. He's uh, been a mind, a mind of useless information, as I always say to him. Uh, no, on the uh, brilliant. Anyway, if you like to be video, give us a wee like and a subscribe, and uh, take care and stay safe out there, people. As I say, one of them at the moment. It's a bit, a bit weird, isn't it? But anyway, it is what it is. Let's get on, mate. Keep calm and carry on and all that. Anyway, that's us for now, folks. Take care. Ta-da.